<laughs> For a two-year-old born without functioning legs, Lamise Shalouf is doing pretty well. Those are her prosthetic legs. They're called stubbies. Um, because they're so short um, and the bottom has tread almost like a shoe. Twin Rimas was born with only one leg. This home video shows her taking her very first steps. The sisters are survivors. They were born in Gaza where getting specialized care for their needs is a huge challenge. Without surgery and prosthetic limbs, Rimas and Lamis would be confined to wheelchairs. Can you imagine those two little beautiful little girls growing up without being able to walk? With the help of the Palestine Children's Relief Fund, the twins, their mom and aunt made the long journey here to Shriners Hospitals for Children, Los Angeles. It's true, it was difficult, but thank God, God somehow helps us uh, to pull through. The type of congenital deficiency that Lamise and Remus have is very rare, about one in a million. And the fact that both sisters have this is even more rare. Both twins were born without uh, the major bone in their lower leg called the tibia. Dr. Phoebe Scott Wired, director of Shriners Child Amputee Prosthetics Project, says the girls will need new prosthetic limbs as they grow. The goal is to get Lamise higher off the ground. And Rimas will soon need a device with an artificial knee joint. The plan is for the girls to travel to Los Angeles once a year for care. Their mom is grateful her daughters will get a chance to have a better life. They will be able to go to school, they will be able to play with other children, so that they will have a relatively normal life. In Los Angeles, Denise Dador, ABC7 Eyewitness News.